Welcome again to Rudy Land's Menagerie of Stars. Unfortunately, we'll have to air a previously recorded interview. Today, special guest, Billy, Bong Thor- Billy Bob Thornton. Well, Mr. Thornton, on behalf of Rudy Land and the entire world, I'd like to graciously invite you and welcome you into our um, humble abode here. How are you today? Feeling pretty good? Good. Fucking shit! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Every time, Dieter? Can you try calling these people once? Billy, please, please, stop. Put the bottles down. What do you want? Well, uh, firstly, I'd like you to take the bottle from, uh, my neck. Um, I really were just, uh, an inquiry of sorts. Right, another fucking mongoloid. What do you want? What are you doing? <laughs> I am so sorry, I I get very sneezy when I'm nervous. And I swear I can get all the snot and mucus off of those swords. God damn it! A shit what you want? Blowing snot all over everybody and fucking whatever. Are you off your fucking meds or something? Well, come on, what do you want? A snot rag? Honestly, just to sit down and talk to you. Pick your brain, you know, talk about your storied career, you know, your personal life, things of that sort. Well, wish in one hand, shit in the other one, see which one fills up first. I mean, we're here, you're here, come on, I'll, I'll ask you a question, we'll see how it goes. How are you today? Feeling good? You look good. Well, let me tell you something, motherfucker. My brother lost a goddamn arm fighting you fuckers in Apache Junction. So I want you to look at me, I want you to look at my face one last fucking time. This is the last thing you're ever gonna see before I- Excellent not work, Dieter. You're starting to remind me why I keep you around. Now that you're subdued, Mr. Thornton, we can continue. Uh, one of my favorite films of yours, one you happen to star and direct in. Um, Sling Blade. Was it tough to, um, you know, direct yourself? Do you feel it may have affected your performance in any way? I thought you were great, by the way. Performance? Performance like sexual? Are you saying there's something wrong with my gear? Um, no. Was it hard to act when you're the director? My fuck stick. Is that what you're saying to me? Where did you guys film Sling Blade? Apache Junction. What the fuck do you care? Now get off my lap. Whoops, sorry. Is it, um, was it tough for you guys, you know, to get the right lighting, especially, um, you know, in the darker scenes? There's a lot of dark scenes in the film. They only work during the day, alright? Did you have a good time working with your fellow castmates on that picture? Um, keep in touch with them? I stable them. The fuck is it with that movie? Why are you so obsessed with that goddamn thing? The story sucks anyway. You seem to have lost your toupee there, Billy. Um, I didn't realize you wore one. You, um, trying out for a role, or... <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. You going bald, Billy? You sit there like a fucking retard. No, I'm an accountant. I wear this fucking thing as a fashion statement, all right? Honestly, I'm just a little concerned, Billy. I mean, it's only 11.10, and... Since I've been here, you've already drank in about three quarters of a Windex. That's your own goddamn bitch. What, you shat me out of your womb? You're my fucking mom now? I don't need any goddamn lectures out of you. I know how to keep a low profile, thank you. Oh no, it's, it's nothing to do with your profile. It's just I don't think people are supposed to drink Windex. Maybe you, you know, stop losing your hair. I loved a woman who wasn't clean. Like the suburbs. Well, it was real. But you see, I got sick and all the hair fell out, so I had to wear this fucking thing. Maybe try a little less risky, um, fornication practices, Billy? Suburbs? What is that? Fornicate? Look, I've boned a lot of fat chicks in my time, sure. But, uh, as far as I can recall, I've never fornicated any- Moving on. You, um, haven't directed anything since Sling Blade, um... I thought you did a great job. Have there not been any offers, or... Any problems with the actors or writers or producers or anything? I'm talking about 150 of these little motherfuckers all over the sidewalk out there. That's what I'm talking about. Little picket signs chanting and raving and using little bullhorns and shit like that. Screaming and hollering. Fuck! The whole fucking department. Get me? Um, no. Fraggle stick car. What is that? Fraggle stick car? What the hell, buddy? Fraggle stick car. Well, I heard you. Fraggle stick car, fine. What is it with you, anyway? Somebody drop you on your fucking head? Do you remember your relationship with Angelina Jolie? How was it? 
Was she nice? Was the, um, constant public pressure too much to bear for the two of you? And do you ever think of her anymore? Fuck no. What do you think, I'm some kind of pervert or something? He was a mean, drunk son of a bitch. And when he wasn't busy busting my ass, he was putting cigarettes out on my neck. The world ain't fair. I'm devastated upon hearing that, Billy. Has anyone else hurt you? A little black midget. Colored, African-American, small person. That's what I'm talking about. Shocking revelation. We've only heard the pleas of women who were battered and abused in this Hollywood system. Now it appears that Billy Bob Thornton, another object, only to be used and thrown away. Like a tampon. Look, I've boned a lot of fat chicks in my time, sure. But, uh, as far as I can recall, I've never fucked Granny's. Good. Good. Now, um, something else a little strange about you today. Um, you, I see you brought this safe with you. Um, why? It, it, it I mean, it, it's a nice safe, but you could have left it, left it somewhere else. I mean, you keeping something important in it or something? Yeah, my dick. You want to see it? No. No. It's a Kittner boy readout. Remember Andy Pitts? They say he's been in Margaret Thatcher's pussy. When I was in the joint with him, he told me that the Kittner boy readout can't be cracked. So then surely you keep something of great importance inside. Come on, the suspense is killing us. Billy, baby, what do you keep in there? Ew. No, I just got clothes in there. The fact of the matter is, I'm not... Jesus, kid. I didn't need no fucking gorilla. You ain't Jesus, and you don't need no gorilla. Preach, my man. I got a present a t-shirt. I hope it's the right size. There wasn't too much blood on it. Do you think that you're a genius? Or some kind of insane nut job? Even more fucked up than Rodney King. Look, I boned a lot of granny s and a little black midget. Whoop, I gotta stop you there, sir. They prefer to be called dwarves, elven folk, or leprechauns colored african-american small person that's what i'm talking about well sir well i have to condemn your practices i have to commend your sensitivity let's plow ahead here we haven't really spent much time on your acting career how um how do you feel it's gone you think you've had a you know good run i feel like you have and they tell me that i will soon be 100 percent even with eight bullets dug out of me because they didn't hit any vital organs you have any exciting roles lined up? Anything big? Well, nothing till March, and then I'm the Easter Bunny. Oh, cool. I didn't even know about that. What studio is making an uh, Easter Bunny movie? Studio. What is that? You a spiritual man at all, Billy? You know, I think I've turned a corner. I beat the shit out of colored grannies today, but it's for a purpose. Let me feel good about myself. It was like I did something constructive with my life. Like I accomplished something. And they, I beat the shit out of some retard midget that but it was for a purpose. I'm appalled, sir. What reason, what purpose could you have to beat up, quote, black grannies and midget retards? The right height, you're right there to grab his balls. You could twist the, and kick these kids in the balls. Touche. How about for the future, Billy? Any plans? Well, I'm very happy. I'm out. This is incredible news. I'm really happy you decided to break this story with us. Uh, Rudy Land exclusive, Billy Bob Thornton, officially gay. How does it feel, Billy? What are your, um, what are your gay plans for the future? I figure I got enough to go to Miami. I don't know, shit, get a car, get a place, maybe. A little black midget. You know, maybe start a business, bar out on the beach, something like that. You know, I could quit drinking and run the place. Maybe marry a... Reindeer. What? For legal... In moral reasons, I am refusing to respond to that statement. Who the fuck is in my room? Did you see somebody go in my room? Nope. And hopefully they untie you, motherfucker. Fucking shit! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fucking Leonardo da Vinci. What you calling me, Zaha? Huh? I called you a fucking Guinea homo from the 15th fucking century, you dickhead. Jesus, what the hell's wrong with you? I'm trying to fucking leave here.